Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me on my life on a hill. My name is Tracy. I hope you could see me. Um, normally my lighting that I use for my videos are basically um, outdoors coming in from uh, my dining room windows and my indoor light. But today it's raining in California, can you believe that? And um, it's kind of dark outside so I hope you could see me. Today's project will be how to make a paper tissue pom-pom. Um, already um, separated all my tissue paper, overlapped them. I kind of mixed them with different colors because I'm a colorful person as you can tell. And um, what I'm gonna do now is double it so it could be uh, really big. So we double it right here and mark it, mark the um, middle. And then open it back up. and then start cutting. And then we could double them. So now we're gonna go ahead and fold them. Now we want to find the, mid, the center. I don't know if you could hear the rain, but it started to pour again, which is weird because in California, we don't get a lot of hard rains. It's funny when I hear the news, Storm Watch 2013. I'm from Belize. They don't want to see a Storm Watch. Okay, I'm using basically floral um, wire. Because I want to do a project with this where I need to stick it in one of the foam. So I want something kind of heavy. And just tie it. And twist. And so you don't get poked, just continue twisting it. And if you want to cut it for a type of um, shape up top, you could go ahead. Uh, but I'm going to leave this one um, uncut. Okay. Now just take your time and start to open it because they're very. Um, it's easy to rip it. I like to do one one side, the next side, because before you know it, this whole side is poofy and then you can't find your paper on the other side. Oh, I love when it rains, but I hate the fact that my baby's at school and my husband's out there working and he's out there doing deliveries in the rain, so that's the saddest part of the rain. But when they're home safe and we get to enjoy watching TV and covered up and snuggling, even though it's a school day, it's okay. It was Cinco de Mayo weekend um, that passed. Um, I'm not um, Mexican, I'm Belizean. But we just had a barbecue just for the heck of it. Plus it was my dad's 70th birthday. Happy birthday, dad. <laughs> so we just had a small little barbecue with a couple friends. Um, I should say one, uh, a friend and her husband and um, baby. Hi guys. If they like to watch my videos, so if they're watching. Hi, Indy. Okay, here you have your pom, pom pom. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and trim it down a little bit up top only because um, there was so much um, paper stack that some kind of um, went, um, some kind of moved around and some went more on one side than the other. 
Now, the reason why I keep it like this on the back is because I'm, I want to stick it into a, a vase, which I'll show you another um, video on that in a few seconds. But um, I just wanted to show you how I make it. And what you can, what you want to do if you're having it hang, instead of this, use a string, and then you just kind of pull back some more, pull them back to cover up this portion, and then you have a ball. But I want it to look like a flower. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean it up a little. You could also decorate this. You could spray some um, glitter on it. Like if you have like glitter in a bottle or something, you could spray it on. Okay. I'll keep it like this for now because when I put it in a container, it's going to be scrunched up against other flowers and I'll eventually take its form, then I could cut it better in there. So for right now, this is just to show you um, a basic pom-pom with different colors. You could use one color and do like red, white, yellow, blue, mix them up, but I decided to put all the colors in one pom. Um, and I hope you like it. So stay tuned, I'm gonna go ahead and do another video on the centerpiece that I wanna make with this. Thanks again for joining me on My Life in a Hill and you have a wonderful day.